Thank you, Peter. Welcome back to Open Day Live. I'm here with Dr. Wayne Petherick from Bond's Criminology Program. Wayne, even though I studied communication at Bond, I also studied a criminology elective as a part of my degree. My highlight was going to jail, funnily enough, but don't worry, I got out. I'm getting out at the end, <laughs> that's the important part. I got part. out and it was just a tour for anyone watching uh, who is concerned right now, it was a tour only. I absolutely loved it. I didn't expect to like it. I sort of took it as a elective and wasn't really sure. And then I ended up getting these awards for doing the subject. So it almost changed my whole career. Honestly, I was go going to get into criminology. I loved it that much. Uh, your journey is quite similar to mine in that you don't really know. Can you tell us a bit about your journey into criminology? Uh, well, I was in the military and I realised that that wasn't uh, a, a lifelong career for me. So I thought that I would be well suited to being a police officer. So I started studying law, which you had to do at the time, and got towards the application process and realised that I probably didn't want to be a police officer anymore. Uh, and I thought I would be much better served being a psychologist. So I started studying psychology and got to the end of that and realised that I didn't want to be a psychologist either. And I asked a lecturer of mine at the time who I uh, really liked and trusted, and she said, having watched you for the last three years, I think you'd be well suited to studying crime and criminals. So why don't you look into criminology? And came here, did my master's degree and uh, just never left. It is such an interesting subject to study. I learnt so much that actually applied to the real world. And also we got so many experiences that I definitely wouldn't have had touch wood otherwise, like going to jail. Uh, what other experiences can you expect when you take criminology? Is there anything else interesting like that? Absolutely, it's uh, pretty much full of interesting things. Um, for some of the classes we actually get uh, Criminals come in and talk to the students about why they got involved in crime. Uh, sometimes they'll have histories of drug and alcohol abuse and talk about how that contributed to their offending. Uh, we have one subject where a man who did 14 years for a homicide that he quite possibly didn't commit comes in and talks to the class about the process of going through the court system and what it was like to protest your innocence but have to go to prison anyway. Um, obviously the prison visits that you did yourself but we also have a variety of internships and placement students can do with various agencies in uh, the criminal justice system. For example, uh, equity division with the Queensland Police, Crime and Corruption Commission, uh, probation and parole which is like uh, su uh, su um, supervising offenders in the community when they're released from prison and so there's a fairly broad array of uh, things that students get to actually do uh, that are quite hands-on. Uh, it's not just all theory. When you think of criminology, I'm sure a lot of us think of criminal minds. Are there many similarities with the TV shows we all know and love? It does depend on the TV show. Uh, they tend to oversimplify a lot of the processes and obviously that's done because they have to sell a story in say a 48 minute time slot. Um, there's been research done on that, how similar are uh, crime shows to real life crime stories. And some of the research is showing not very similar at all. What skills do you have to have to be a fantastic criminologist? Well, I think uh, you've really got to have a thirst for knowledge because the area is so vast and there's so much research out there, there's so much theory out there that you rely on to do your job on a day-to-day -day basis. So I think, you know, a, a, a mentor of mine used to say, thinking is allowed, but reading is required. So you've got to have a love of reading. Uh, you also need to have good analytical skills, uh, logic, reasoning, critical thinking, and a good memory doesn't hurt either. Can you take us through a list of potential jobs? There are so many, aren't there? Parole officer? Absolutely. The jobs are virtually limitless. I regularly meet with former students and ask them what they're doing now and they say they're working in a job that I didn't know existed or I had no idea that you know a criminology graduate could work there. There are your more, I guess, more typical ones, which are those in the criminal justice system working in probation parole. Uh, we have students who work in the prisons themselves as either intelligence analyst type roles or prison guards, uh, state and federal police, also customs and border patrol, and then at various levels of local, uh, state and federal government. What's the greatest misconception when it comes to this area? Uh, I think probably the greatest misconception is what it involves and how it works. And I do think that a large part of that is the crime-related television. It is one of the most popular and the biggest genres around. And you can tell by the popularity of shows like Making a Murderer exactly how interested people are. Um, but it does, for people's understanding of crime, 
what people's understanding of construction and building uh, is from shows like Backyard Blitz and House yes, Rules. Yes, that's, that's actually a really good way of thinking about it. I don't think many people do realise that. They take it quite seriously. Absolutely. That's really interesting. They well, believe every so renovation should take, you know, 48 minutes or <laughs> yeah, something like that. I'm sure that mm. you get a lot of um, people stereotyping what you do Absolutely. all the time. Thank you so much for chatting with us My today. Pleasure. We're almost at the end of our live broadcast. I can't believe this. So uh, make sure you make the most of what's happening out there. So many festivities and activities. And if you're tuning in from the other side of the world, make sure you leave us a comment and follow us on all the channels at Bond University.